All right. So I am Tanmay. Me and my twin brother Chinmay here will be talking about digital twins. No pun intended. Uh, so we have developed something called the Auto Drive ecosystem, and that's what the simulations here are all within. Uh, we are basically defining a real to sim to real workflow where both of those vehicles that you see, the Pacifica, which is the open CAV in our campus at ICAR, and the Razor are physical vehicles that have been calibrated photorealistically, vehicle dynamically, as well as sensor characteristically within the simulation. And that gives us the ability to now trust the validation results that come out of it. And so the, the key motivation here is to move from physical testing to virtual testing, but with grounding to the physical world. And that way, the two scenarios that you see there are the prototype test cases that we have started working with. Uh, both of those vehicles are supposed to keep driving autonomously unless and until there is something that obstructs them or uh, makes them uh, come to the navigation board. And we have been able to deploy this within the HPC cluster in three different ways. So the project started with the off-road case study, which Chinmay will talk about in a moment. But we first can uh, discuss about the on-road autonomy case study which we were fortunate enough to get started when Palmetto 1 was still around. And it progressed along after Palmetto 2 was uh, transitioned. And so what we were able to do is refine this custom workflow that worked both with Palmetto 1 as well as Palmetto 2 that can now pull in your autonomous driving software stack. It can pull in the container registry from uh, the simulation itself. And you can define it a custom test matrix that is now uh, go on into the sh scheduler node to spin up all the simulations that you see parallelly here. And this also now takes care of the uh, problem of shared resources in the computing setting where things like Palmetto cluster have uh, their ways of defining which job is scheduled when. And so you now have the ability to control how simulations are spun up. And with methods like active learning or sequential sampling, you can smartly generate new test cases that make sure that the validation is not just brute force, but you can accelerate the, uh, and look at uh, zooming in on edge cases rather than just brute forcing your way through. And so once we had this framework running, what we were also able to do was apply this in an off-road autonomy case study, which was done as a part of the Viper GS Center uh, in collaboration with US Army DEFCON GKSC. And so what we are doing here is running similar parallel simulations in the cloud again. But here we are now leveraging the uh, capabilities of Kubernetes in the Rancher cluster, which now supports uh, container, containerized applications much more natively. And so we can now do this much more in a much more flexible way. And that gives us the opportunity to uh, basically accelerate the verification and validation across the different vehicle scales, configurations, and operational design domain. We are able to uh, do this with accelerations upwards of 30 times with, as compared to the conventional workflows. And we have also analyzed the cluster resources in terms of uh, saving the power, for example. The energy efficiency of such an approach could be, uh, in, in an example case that we had, uh, roughly 300 watts per hour. So that gives us an ecological perspective as well. Uh, some of the, most of these results have already been published and there are uh, resources for people who are, who might be interested. Thank you very much.